Hey everyone. Um, the con's finally over, so I get some time to relax to myself, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, I wanted to show everybody all the goodies that I have um, in the dealer's room. I won't name all the dealers, but I will list them below in case anybody likes anything that they've seen or wants to see more. I picked up a couple um, of these adorable little uh, one-eye blobs. It's a little purple one and white and silver and this one's a uh, kind of a, a blue, a dark blue, a bronze and I don't know if you can see it but he's like really sparkly. <laughs> I also from the same people picked up this cute little choker for my um, for my niece and it glows in the dark unfortunately it's a little too bright in here to show you all that well, yeah I can't but it glows in the dark and I thought that was really cool you know what 11 year old doesn't like stuff that glows in the dark um, and believe it or not, one of the little blobs is for her. I also picked up this really beautiful um, pocket watch since they're very British and it was a British convention. This is the front. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And it reminds me of Ninja, which is the ring that Galadriel wears. This is the back, which I also thought was really pretty. Now, the girl... And the gentleman that sold it also gave me this adorable little bag to put it in. And as you can see, they gave me an extra watch battery, which I thought was pretty cool because they didn't have to. And that's what the inside of it looks like. So I'm rather happy about this purchase. And it didn't cost an arm and a leg, which I'm very happy about because it's hard for me to find pocket watches that I really like. And it's even harder to find the ones that, um, you know, um, are not horribly expensive. So, oh. There's another pair of girls. I have their card, and I will give you their information. But this little corduroy owl, I thought it was absolutely adorable. On the back, he has... A little pocket for you to put things in and it's got some cat hair on it and my cats pretty much fell in love with this thing and have more or less <laughs> tried to claim it uh, as far as those kind of things go that's what I have as far as that goes um, Nope. I picked up some postcard sized artwork from one of the local or no, well, I don't know if she's local I think she is local but every year of this convention I've picked up some of her artwork which sorry I absolutely do adore her work first we have um this little fox on the moon or it's not a fox but it's called quiet at last and then i have this lovely one which is called the bookseller it's um by arden ellen nixon and i will have a link in the bottom but these are two of the smaller prints i got from her that i absolutely adored i saw them last year but i picked out some other stuff instead and part of me wishes I would have gotten these, but I'm, I was so excited to see that she had them this year, so I snagged them. Um, sorry, I was eating not too long ago. And then I got two larger prints. I picked up this lovely, which um, is also from the same 
lady, and she's a sweetheart. She knows she is, and she's so much fun to talk to because she's sweet. She's very personal, though, so unless um, you've spoken to her a lot and she's gotten to know you, she won't talk about too much, but I really do like it. The print is called White Rabbit, and if you can see, um, she signed in silver, which, and then on the front, she also signs it down in here. It, it kind of blends into the line work, but I think that's really cool. And from another vendor, because I am an absolute tool, no, not really a tool, but I absolutely love Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's an Elvis channel. This, and I know it's backwards, but it says not all those who wonder are lost. J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I was very, very pleased to find this and add it to my collection of uh, Lord of the Rings uh, type things. So that is my swag, more or less, from the convention. I did get my roommate a couple things. I'm not going to invade his room to show you. I will simply update another video at another time so that you guys can see them because I don't like it when people go into my room without my permission and I don't want to go into his room without his permission. He unfortunately is not here. He left about two hours ago to go to work. That said, I hope you all enjoyed this. If there are any questions, please let me know and I will happily get back to you. Until next time, have a great one, everyone. Bye.